All right. As I promised in class, I wanted to work through a mixture problem using the, uh, the chart that helps you set up the equations for solving these things. And so I've copied down a sample problem from your book. I believe it's uh, problem uh, 33, or it might have been 23, but anyway. It's a nut store normally sells cashews for $9 per pound and almonds for $3.50 per pound. At the end of the month, almonds hadn't been selling well, so in order to sell the 60 pounds of almonds remaining, the manager desired to, decided to mix the 60 pounds of almonds with some cashews and sell the mixture for $7.50 per pound. How many pounds of cashews should the manager mix in to ensure no change in profit from the sale? All right, so to set up a problem like this, uh, we'll note that if you take a certain amount of items multiplied by the price per pound, you'll get the total price or the net price. So if we talk about the type of nuts as we make our chart, the quantity of nuts, the price per pound or the unit price of the nut mixtures and then the net price or the total price either one you can label it however you like we can go through for each one and start setting up the problem based on what we know the first type of nuts that we under know are cashews all right the second type of nuts that we're talking about are almonds. And the third type we're going to have is a mix of the two. All right. And we know from the problem there were 60 pounds of almonds. So there are 60 pounds of almonds. And we want to actually ask how many pounds of cashews. So how many pounds? Uh, and we know that uh, is spelled X in algebra. And when we're solving these problems, again, because they're essentially weighted averages, we're not allowed to add the rates or average the rates unless we know there's an identical amount of each. But we can add quantities. I can add some number of pounds to some number of pounds, and I'll get a some number of pounds. We can also add prices. If this amount is worth say twenty dollars and this amounts worth thirty dollars the net assuming there's going to be no change in profit would be worth fifty dollars so uh, we can add down this column and this column but again we can't average or add up the the rates in the middle unless we know that they're either the we can do it with a weighted average which is what we're trying to figure out or we could do it if we knew that they were equal amounts in this case we don't know how much there is but what we do know is when we add some number of pounds to some number of cashews, we'll get a mix that has X plus 60 pounds of nuts in it. All right? So this sets up an equation. This plus that is that. Not too tricky there. I'm going to put parentheses around here just to make that a little simpler. Now, the price per pound on cashews is $9 per pound. The price on almonds is $3.50 per pound. And the price of our mixture will be $7.50 per pound. Now, if I sell X pounds of cashews at $9 a pound, I'll have 9X dollars worth of cashews. I don't know how. If, I, if it was 10 pounds, I would have $90 worth of cashews. I know that I have 60 pounds of almonds, so I know the dollar value of almonds that will result in my final mix. That value will be 60 times 350. And it's actually a little easier if you want to do this to think of this as 2 times 30. 2 times 350 is $7.00 times 30, that's going to be $210. $210, okay? Basically, we've got the quantity times the unit price is the net price, right? Quantity times unit price equals the net price. This is our unit price and price per pound. 
Okay, so $210 is this one. So I've got some dollar value of cashews plus some dollar value plus $210 of almonds is going to be the value of my total mix. I don't want to more or less profit for selling the same amount of stuff. That's the way the problem is set up. And so I have to multiply these two together. So this becomes 750 times X plus 60 pounds. And again, I want these two to be equal. The amount of money I make off of the mix should be the same as if I was selling them separately. I'm just mixing them in to increase the net sales of almonds to clear out inventory. So at this point, again, I can add the dollar values and say that they're equal. And it's this equation that I'm going to end up solving. This becomes, and I'm going to uh, keep working with the units here, but if you don't like keeping units in there, you could write it this way. 9x plus 210 equals 7.5 times x plus 60. But I like working with the units, so I'm going to rewrite this the way I work with them. Um, that's 9x per pound plus, sorry, dollars. 210 in dollars equals 750x plus 60 pounds. All right, now we need to use the distributive property here, and then we'll simplify by moving variables to one side, constants to the other. So this simplifies to 750x. And then 750 times 60 pounds, again, we can use that same trick. 2 times 750 is $15 times 30 is $450. Okay. And so looking at these two, I can subtract 750 from both sides. $750 minus... All right, and I'm going to subtract 210. And so over here, 9 minus 7.5 is 1.5x per pound. And that's equal to 450 minus 210 is 240. And now to solve for x, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of my coefficient. So it's one pound over a dollar fifty. And so again, I'll multiply this by one pound over a dollar fifty. All right. And again, pounds cancel. dollars cancel, 1.5 cancels, and I get X here. And then here, my dollars cancel, and I'm going to be left with X in pounds, so that makes sense. Uh, to sort this thing out, again, if I double this, that would be 3, okay? And then 3 goes into 240, that's 80. 2 times 80, that's 160 pounds is what it says I would need to add for cashews. So now I want to go back and check my work. I think I have the answer was I supposed to add 160 pounds. All right. If that's the case, I would end up with 220 pounds of mix. Let's check and see if the numbers work out. Nine times 160 is 900 plus 540 is 1440 and so when I add those together I should get 1650 right so 1650 is what my mix should be now this is 220 times 750 and that's the same as 110 times 15 which is 1500 plus 150 which is indeed 1650 50, those are the same, 
And so my solution is indeed 160 pounds.